have you heard? Oh, come on. I can never think, I can never think of any other soul song. Welcome to Carmen and Aaron Lally Studio. Now, I tell you, I tell you, if you are um, 10 years, 12 years old, you've probably heard of this website. CoolMathGames.com And, I've also heard that this, and P.S., I've also heard this site is rife with ads, which is, thank God Adblock is here to save us all. So, the reason I'm not here is to review every single game on the website. Oh my god, there is, there are literally like thousands of games on this site. But today I'm only going to review one. And I believe that game is, I, I've forgotten the name of it, what was it? Let's see, no, let me see. Coffee Shop, yes, it's this, this one, well, yes, it's this, this one is the one I'm talking about. Let me just move on here. Um, if you played the game Lemonade Stand, well, Coffee Shop is pretty much the same thing, only more modern looking and more flash looking, because the original Lemonade Stand was in Java, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <sighs> Bloody Java, why does Firefox hate it so much? So, Coffee Shop... And apparently they labelled it as a strategic game and a game involving numbers. That's not true because it's actually really easy once you get once you get the once you get the right thing, once you get the right gist of it, it's really easy. But for some reason, I've never actually been able to get past like the fourth or the fifth day in the last times I played it. So let's open it. It's been a while since I've last played a Flash game. <sighs> Coffee Shop, released but released like nearly eight years ago by Armor Games. Ah, Armor Games. They made they made other great games too. I love one of my personal favorites is Incorporation Incorporated. Go look it up. What right, so? I can switch to a different view and I'll be right back. And at last, I can finally begin playing. Seriously, I had to reload the game like six freaking times. The last time I refreshed, the last time I refreshed the play, adblocks just stopped working and all hell broke broke loose. I mean, imagine the frame rate that would go on this if ads were still enabled. Oh my god, it would, be, it would be significantly lower. Besides, I already have a bad frame rate already. Let me see here. 10 frames, not that good. 10 frames per second, that is. Now, now, start a new game. So, you're about to open your own street side coffee shop. How much cash can you make in two weeks? Now, what do you want to call your coffee shop? Now, the stuff they have typed in already for you is random. If you click start over and over, if you click play over and over again, it's just gonna, it will keep changing the titles. <laughs> but you can type in your, but you can type in your own titles. Uh, like maybe worst coffee shop. Yes, there is a character limit though, so I can only type worst coffee s. So maybe I should just type in bad coffee and or bad caffeine. Ooh, yes. Or pure caffeine because pure caffeine can kill you. Yeah, taking caffeine in its pure form kills you. Go to CGP Grey. Go to CGP Grey's coffee video and find out for yourself. Now, for this thing, I'm going to show a tutorial. It's always checked for some reason at the start. Even if you uncheck it, like I'm actually going to uncheck it. I'm actually going to uncheck it for here. Go back. Press start again. As you can see, 
A, my name is A, the name is gone, and B, the show tutorial thing is checked again. So I'm just gonna put in the title I had first. Don't do drugs, kid, because drugs are bad, and I don't remember the rest of it. Yes, I have heard that joke. And yes, I've seen South Park, although I'm not the correct age to see it. Right then, let's see how pure caffeine dies. Will it kill people, or will the game just think otherwise? I bet it's going to be the latter. Congratulations, you have opened your your coffee's own coffee stand, pure caffeine. Your goal is to make as much money as you can in 14 days. Each day begins in prep mode. In prep mode, you buy ingredients, adjust your recipe, and set your price. But before you can make coffee, you have to buy the ingredients that go into it. Coffee is just four ingredients. Cups, coffee, milk, and sugar. Okay, so this is the inventory screen, which is how much of each thing you have. <coughs> cups are the thing. Cups are the thing that you that you serve that you serve the coffee in. For obvious reasons, it's always set to one. But per per cup of coffee, by the way, in case you're wondering, you can adjust the rest of them. Coffee. You can't have coffee without coffee. Well, coffee beans. Milk, which is the number of milk, you, which is milk that you pour into the coffee to make it. What was it again? Um, the only creamy. Yeah, more creamy equals more goodness apparently. And sugar, which makes the thing sweeter. Now, no. The more the sw sliders are to the left, the the more bad reputation your thing is going to get, because all customers prepare prefer a strong strong coffee, creamy taste, and sweet flavor. For some reason, although although pe many although I'd say some people would prefer weak black and bitter coffee, apparently the vast majority is strong, creamy, and sweet. Now, just for fun, I'm going to start a game. Using those settings. Coffee is insanely expensive for some reason. Excellent! You bought enough inventory so that you can serve some customers. Start arriving. If you want to read the tutorial, press pause. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I've forgotten about this part. The temperature or the temperature of the temperature changes every day. It is extremely varied, so I don't know. Hmm, this coffee, this must be the time traveling coffee stand or something. Because with each day, because one day it might be 80 degrees Fahrenheit, while another, while the next it's 25. And P.S. Yes, this isn't Fahrenheit. I can't figure out. There's no way to change it to Celsius. So bad news for metric people. So since this is pretty much the worst coffee in the world, I'm gonna set the price to five cents. Nah, actually, that's way too cheap. It can go up to ten dollars, but that's way too expensive. How about a dollar? Ah, uh, pure caffeine. Now, each icon means a different thing. I won't pay that much today. The price looks right. I won't pay that much today, and if you don't know what the icons mean, you can just you can just hover over them. Now, as you can see, by putting the sliders all the way to the left, I'm getting some bad reputation. Not worth who I paid for it. Paid for it. Not worth who I paid for it. Reputation, and you can see that red bar, the reputation, start to appear. And as more customers come and go, that that bar will get thicker and thicker. Yuck, not worth
No, all my milk is spoiled. No, this doesn't apply since I have no milk. Tomorrow's forecast, freezing. You see, that's that's an example of bias in the weather system. It should be more subtle changes than like 26, than like a minus 26 degree Fahrenheit change. Now, I wonder would it be considered good value if five cents. Five cents. Now, no, don't do this in real life. You'll you'll lose a lot of money. I'm only doing this for fun. Yeah. Of course, I get negative reaction. I can't. For some reason, I can't hover the, over them though. They won't. Yeah, not worth what I paid for it. Seriously, five frickin' cents. You must be out of your mind if you're if you're willing to say that. No, no, that was fail play test number one. But in reality, I was only just messing around. I'm gonna refresh the page now and do another playtest. This time with the default settings. Well, with the exception of show the tutorial, I'm not gonna show it this time. So, as you can see, here's the screen. Now, the default recipe it gives you is one cup, one cup, one cup. Uh, no, you cannot change that anyway. 1.9 tablespoons of coffee, 0.2 cups of milk, and 2 cups of sugar. I mean, 2 t tablespoons of sugar. Or is it 2 teaspoons? I can't tell. And the price what is set to $2. What's that? I don't know. Right then, so let's buy, some, let's buy our inventory. Start with $30, and it's always 51 degrees again. You see, this game gets much easier when it says serving zero limited by sugar. Then you just know about know what you want to bu what you should buy. If you But you see another reason why this game sucks is the default recipe still makes people don't want to still makes people hate your coffee you actually have to change your re the recipe if you want better reaction well this is see they want more milk you're always going to get this reaction whenever you start the game and you don't bother to change the recipe and apparently for some reason people want to throw want to put it on the floor Maybe then coffee beans will grow. <laughs> oh yeah, and you can skip to the end of the day if no more customers are going. Look at that man. Frozen in place. He must be tortured. Now, it's actually going to give you a summary. Yuck alert. Customers say you charge too much for bad tasting coffee. Lower the price or increase quality to improve your reputation. So then it will give me a graph. And in this case, reputation went down minus six percent. Cash went up from zero to twenty. And the forecast is seventy degrees. So if I lower the price to a dollar, I wonder how they'd react this time. Mind you, there's a lot that can come from this, by the way. <coughs> and there's the amount of inventory you have. The bar starts out full and white when your inventory is complete. When your inventory is at is when you have bought everything you need. Now, 
now the advice the advice from the advice from earlier actually won't work because the reputation is applied is because the reputation is applied when the customers actually taste the coffee and not when they buy it. And this, why did that someone turn down my and why did someone turn turn down my underpriced coffee just because it was too expensive? Rough day today. You lost minus fourteen dollars. That means I gained fourteen dollars, you liar. Don't worry, you'll turn it around. I'm not sure it's six dollars though. Alright, fail playthrough number two is done. Now, let's move on to playthrough number three. And again, title screen. Oh yeah, go on to the go on to the actual site itself and listen to the music. Actually, kind of nice. Too bad the music isn't long enough, though. Now I'm going to time lapse on how I was properly meant to be. Therefore, I'm going to do it in a time lapse form, if you don't mind. Okay. I bet I bet at this point, if you follow my previous three videos. You're probably saying that I'm obsessed with time lapses. Well, you're half right. But I won't say any more about that. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to read the coffee shop game instructions. Purchase supplies, create your coffee recipe, set your price, and start selling. Tip, you can change your price point during the day. Yeah, but the bar is too too small for that to actually work. Hmm. I'm not sure how come this is one of the top rated games by the author. Because in reality, this game actually isn't very good. Now. Time for a time lapse. Like what? This is going to be a time lapse of all 14 days done properly. If you want to know what I did at any point, just pause the video. Or, just pause the video. And this will be playing at whom? What speed? Uh, should it be 16 times? A little less? A little more? Yeah, 16 times speed. So. Let's see how I play through this game. Successfully. if you don't have enough ingredients so you might as well you know do without the milk or something and then and then spend more on coffee or something but if you run out of co if you can't afford the coffee it's all over for you so as you can see it threw me in a loop and and I made a critical mistake and the reason it threw me for a loop is it was warm two days at a time you see how hot it is affects the customers on whether they want to buy the stuff or not. So, for both the sake of my brain and the length of this video, I deem this fail playthrough number three. If you. I don't know what to say here, but. This really is. But if I. Tr but I failed this video. I mean, this is the third time I failed. When I was much longer, lo younger, like two years ago, I used to love this game, but only because it was super easy. Well, apparently, things have changed, and now it's super hard. I can't get past day six. Well, I can, but, but then my customers would get unhappy. 
So, before we go, let's take a look at the stats I achieved. These are the, this, ca cash is how much cash I earned. Is how much cash I had. Reputation? How much reputation I have. This was the temperatures. And there's and th and there's also and there's also three different sections: finances, cups. This is the amount of cups sold. The price, the price of my coffee. How much I lost, how much I gained, and the profit to loss ratio. In the recipe section, there is how much coffee I put in at one point, how much milk I put in at one point, and how much sugar I put in at one point. And finally, inventory is how much stuff I had. So, how much cups I had, coffee, milk, and sugar. So, if, so I had um, up to 40 ta 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 teaspoons of coffee, 22 cups, 24, 24 milk, and 10 sugar. And I suppose that ends this playthrough of Coffee Shop. Well... If you really want me to actually try and complete this game successfully, get to the fourteenth day and finish with money with money to spare and a high reputation, why don't you uh, ask me in the comments or give a lo or give me enough likes in this video and then I'll get the motivation to do so. But for now, I think this is pretty much the end of the video. So bye! Thanks for watching! Haha, <laughs> I got you there. That isn't the end of the video. This, but it's a bon it's bonus video time. And here I'm going to show you this weird version of 2048. For those of you who don't know 2048, and that number will be pretty low, mind you, 2048 is a clone of threes, where you swipe numbers together to, cre to create bigger numbers. Oh, come on. What is it doing? There we go. And you can... And <laughs> And whatever direction they move in, all the tiles go together. And if you combine two tiles, you can make a bigger number. But in this weird version of 2048, you actually have to make numbers in the Fibinci sequence instead of putting two and two together to make four. If I try to do it that here, it won't work. So instead, I have to put the two and the one together to make three. <sighs> when I first tried out this game, I, th I thought it had the intent of... I thought it pretty much broke my brain. But once you play but once you play around with it for enough time, you might you actually start to you actually start to get used to the to the new way of playing 2048. Mind you, this isn't available for, mind you, this I believe was made by Cool Math Games themselves. Uh, actually I've no idea. The scoring system is pretty much is pretty simple. I'll be, and it's also the, and it's also pretty much the same as the original 2048. When you create a tile, the value of the new tile gets added to your score, and when that tile gets removed, either when when it's combined to form a yet another tile, that score the number of points that tile has doesn't get removed from your score. As you can see here, if I play around, if I continue to play, you can watch my score go up, and the number of points I get for each for each thing is displayed here as as a plus as a plus sign along with the number of points I gained. I know it sounded like a mouthful, but it's really simple anyway. Buy twenty four, get twenty forty eight on your iPhone or iPad yourself and see how it works because this is the exact same scoring system as the original. Oh yeah, and the original version is all also on this site as well. Now, I'm not actually going to play a full game for the sake of, of the video length. But, but you can come down to this website if you if you want to play if you want to play around with it. There's a link in the description, but make sure you but make sure you have ad block enabled because this because this site is rife with ads. If you really want to go without ad block, do so at your own risk. But I recommend you still do so anyway.
now we have arrived at the real end of the video. So thanks for watching, and comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks, bye!